There have been several games this year where Loyola has fallen in love with the three early in the game to their own detriment. Switch up there. Marcus Towns had Bowman in transition. Neither team is getting it there. Chapman, the turnaround jumper along the baseline, had to handle a bad pass. Custer with the behind-the-back dribble. Gafis is a shooter. Custer lost it. He was stripped by Mitchell, who's on the run. And the big man is able to throw down with two hands. Everybody spread out. Five guys outside the three-point shot. Shot clock at six. Hamilton trying to hurry from the free throw line over Agunani. <laughs> tough shot. Freshman on freshman. Having a tough time identifying here. And Custer was able to poke it out. Now Towns on the drive. He's swatted away by Stephen Mitchell. Heron in the game, number four. Tabs also a freshman. That's a three. And it falls for Chris Heron Jr., the freshman sharpshooter, a spark off the bench for Boston College. Agunani, great job. Towns with the take inside. The block from Popovich. Three against two. Hamilton with a one-handed jam. Second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Hamilton's just gonna take it to the rim. He gets the basket and the foul. Coming out party for him. Full plays for sure. Also, you have to be prepared for the press when you're ahead this much in the game. And that guy is a press breaker by himself. He didn't seem impressed by it. Not much offense in the game here. The ground out to Towns. He's been cold, but maybe now he can heat up. It was a 16-point Boston College lead, and Loyola has cut it to seven. BC will have to inbound it. Goes right back to Bowman. That's a two. Hamilton uh, from the corner. He's creating, isn't he, Bowman? Ujoso is on Chapman right now, and he's a good defender. Bowman fades back, smokes the jumper, and that's a 10-point lead for the Eagles.